Zionist forces killed more than 400 Palestinians and demolished over 1,000 for the homes during the 13-day raid on Al-Shifa Hospital and its vicinity in the Gaza Strip. The government media office affirmed that the Zionist forces detained and tortured hundreds of patients, displaced individuals and healthcare workers in and around the hospital. We got out, thank God, and once we were on Al Abbas Road, they started shooting at us again, telling us this is not a safe area and we should go right. Then they started shooting again, saying this is not safe as well. We were in the middle of the fire and we didn't know what to do. The Zionist assault on Gaza's health facilities did not stop at Al Shifa Hospital. A Zionist airstrike hit several tents inside Shuhad Al Aqsa Hospital in Deir al Bala killing four people and wounding several others, including some journalists. They hit the tent without any warning. We were staying in the tent as a group of journalists peacefully, with no terrorists among us. We were preparing our cameras, and all of a sudden, the tent was hit. Everything went dark, with debris and rocks flying above our heads, and there were flames. <laughs> Reports from eyewitnesses revealed that the Zionist occupation forces hit the area without prior warning. We were unarmed journalists, and we have nothing to do with anything. We just arrived to the hospital about half an hour before. We were preparing to see where to go to work and cover the news. We were surprised with what happened. The Zionist forces claim that hospitals in Gaza are used by Hamas and other militant groups as bases. However, only unarmed civilians are reported dead every day. The occupation forces persist on their war crimes against Palestinians, despite the UN Security Council's resolution, which imposes ceasefire in the Gaza Strip.